Hey guys, Angel Luke here, and today I'll be bringing you my survival. This is my second one, and my first one was on the easy, and this one is on the medium. Um, I don't know the map of this, I don't really remember it, but I put a pop up in the video right now um, to tell you. Anyway, we're on round 26, and I'm just doing one part. Um, I was gonna do part one and part two, but I decided to do one part. Um, since uh, because round 15 to round 20 was quite boring, and um, this was more like, you know, it was better. Um, but you should start the strategy on round 15. You shouldn't start on round 26, because between 15 and 26, there is you do need this strategy. So um, if you watched my other video, then you should know the strategy quite well. Um, you need about 10,000 points between you and your other person. I'm here. I'm playing with um, Angel Paul, or his main account um, is Polatart M, and us two are the leaders of Angel's clan. Um, we are the leaders only, so we're not gonna um, get more leaders. But you can. Um, we are recruiting uh, people to play with us in our clan. Um, just PM uh, me. Luke 700 or um, Paul Atardem and we'll we'll see if you're good or not. Um, so this strategy also works very good with uh, juggernauts and um, and uh, the normal people obviously. Uh, dogs are annoying because they might kill your riot squad. Now on round 15 you want to have at least one sentry placing it right right where I am over there and the sooner you can get the second sentry obviously the better here I uh, destroy the juggernauts um, now here there is a, the, jug the juggernauts are, um, are quite good on round 26 and they're very powerful as you can see I'm just shooting shooting even the sentry and he destroys the sentry and almost kills me here but the strategy is good we made it uh, if you see later on in the video we made it to round 31 here I take two um, juggernauts nice and easy uh, Paul dies over here uh, but he gets back up and we continue and this se the second uh, sentry over there um, is useful because it covers the right side and also the middle so you wouldn't have to worry about that but you should always uh, be shooting in the middle now by round 20 you want uh, also two heavy machine guns um, I picked the M6 OE4 and the uh, I don't know what this one is it's something with a P anyway it's like a Russian gun um, and Paul uh, picked the same as me now if you lose your self revive I lost it um, a bit earlier I think on round 23 uh, I did something stupid um, go pick it up and always make sure you have sentry guns sentry guns and the riot, riot squad uh, you get three per person. If two of us call it in, uh, you can get up to six. And these are amazing, guys. They help you so much. If you don't have them, you're fucked, basically, um, because uh, they they really really do help. It's like having six players, uh, six players, but um, not that experienced. Two of us only will be experienced. Um, yeah, just this, this is the basic strategy. If you watched my other strategy, um, you know, this is the exact same strategy. Um, you can use it on the medium as well. We might change it up a little on the hard. Um, we might put like claymores and we'll include claymores and C4s. Um, but here you can see we're on round 28, high rounds. Uh, this thing, and if you keep if you keep like um, your uh, here. here um, uh, we are killing the people not for fun we saw that there are only two right people and we said okay we'll kill uh, um, the two of them and get six you know because uh, you can't buy um, your right squad until all of your um, members are dead so we'd rather have six than just have two laying about and yeah we get our six um, I don't know if our sentries are still alive. I think one of them is only. Um, so that th that made a huge difference, as as you will see in uh, this round. And where we're um, 
situated we're next to the uh, air support uh, I like this place just because um, it's hard to, to uh, they have to actually come to you they can't come from any they come from can't come from behind us that's very important um, if a sentry I mean if um, they come from behind you then you will have problems so they, they only come from in front of us and the side that is the key um, to having high rounds in uh, survival and that's very very important so here as I said we're next to the uh, air support and the only drawback about the strategy is you have to run um, to where the grenade is to get the sentry guns uh, C4s, claymores you have to run quite a bit and it takes um, a lot, up a lot of time um, so here I think I go by a sentry gun over here you see this it takes long and even to run with a machine gun you know it, a light machine gun it takes double the time so yeah and the drawback is they obviously another drawback is the right squad and <coughs> excuse me uh, they come behind you so they'll be they won't be in position for the next round but it's alright I mean it's not a major drawback now I place this sentry gun over here uh, so it will take the middle only and the other sentry will take the right uh, when there are choppers obviously I use the predator missile it helps a lot um, these dogs are annoying now this is uh, what's good about this sentry guns um, they survive explosions as in there are two explosions there and I thought all the sentries were down but they aren't so they survive explosions this is why sentry guns are so good guys and if you can get the grenade launcher sentry guns, um, I forgot about them in this one. Um, but yeah, here I kill I killed two choppers with one, so that was really really cool. Um, yeah, this is a, uh, a, a trophy and uh, MW2. I remember Birdie, it was I think, or I don't know. Anyway, you had like to kill two choppers with uh, one. Predator missile. So yeah, um, just basically keep on doing this, guys. Make sure you have ammo. That's very important. You can't run out of ammo, guys. You absolutely can't. And if you want to, if you're like um, suffering a bit, there are riot shields. Um, that obviously the dead riot squad. There are some riot shields. So if you want to pick uh, those up, um, they would help. Now this is why we died. Um, uh, we, as you can see, we only have one person in the right squad or two, and we forgot to call in. We forgot to kill them and call in our our six people. So, yeah, that's the mistake we mainly did. And as you can see, without them, we are suffering already. As you can see, completely um, suffering. Paul is down. I went down. He got up and he's like, "Look, look, get up, get up, get up!" And I was like, "All right." I had to switch to my other uh, machine gun and he went down right about here I think he goes down and uh, here we are suffering as in we knew we are going to die some, somehow but he gets downed on the right and I hold off for about 30 seconds and yeah this is basically how we die anyway guys uh, um, soon we are going to die and this is my end of my strategy um, Hope you enjoyed and obviously learned. Um, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment on the video saying your your feedback. Peace.